Hello. Didn't catch you there. Sorry about that. I think you should come close for this. A little bit more. A little bit more? Oh, too close. Go back, go back. What's up, YouTube? You ready for today? We just got some exciting news. Today, we get to go over what's gonna be at the Northwest Overland Rally Raffle. We're gonna have three types of raffles. If you don't wanna listen to this part, I'll put a uh, timestamp down so you can go straight to each individual item itself. But just to go over, we're gonna be doing three raffles at the Northwest Overland Rally. The three raffles are gonna be consisting of one, we're gonna give some items to Northwest Overland Rally. Northwest Overland Rallies is gonna have their raffles every single night at their campfire. They're gonna give a ticket to every individual person that goes, and if you're not at the campfire, it gets thrown away. They go to the next one. So make sure you're present for each campfire if you wanna win something at the raffle. We're not the only ones giving the items. All the vendors out there are also giving items. Partners of ours like WeBoost and Devos will have raffle items as well there. Thank you Northwest Overland Rally for inviting us to this event. We're very glad that we're gonna be able to go out there and have a booth with you guys. The second raffle, come down to the booth, meet the guys at uh, Pacific Northwest Overland. We're gonna have a QR code, all you gotta do is scan in. We'll do a random drawing on the raffles on there for those specific items and we'll call you or email you during the event. That one we're gonna pick out each individual winner on Saturday. So from Thursday to Saturday, then we're gonna do it around midday. Uh, we're, we'll let you, everybody know that you can pick it up either Saturday or Sunday. If you're not there, we're giving the prize to somebody else. Third raffle, the PNW Overland Group. The people that have filled out the form, have already finalized it that are camping within our camp group. This is a thank you to our members. We're gonna have a couple items on there that we will raffle to ensure that a PNW member that is visiting from all over the Pacific Northwest to come and hang out with us will win something. So let's get to it. I'm sorry I'm talking too much, but we're gonna go through a lot of this stuff today. So for the first item, and all of these items are partners with us at Pacific Northwest Overland. They're on our website. They all give fantastic discounts and promos. So go to our website and check on their partners if you're looking for any type of gear that you'd like some type of price break. Not saying you need to buy anything to go overlanding or camping. A simple car and sleeping in the car will do. That's besides the case if you're looking to buy gear. Why not get a price break? So a little history on PNW overlanding. Pacific Northwest overlanding started about two years ago, give or take. Um, it might've been three, but I, I think it was about two years ago. And I started the group because when I moved back stateside, because I was living overseas for a while, about seven years. And when I moved back stateside, I still wanted to camp in overland. Um, and it's just safety in numbers. And me not knowing a bunch of people in Washington, I decided I wanted to go out into the wilderness. And there's a video, uh, which I can link somewhere on here uh, or in the description, where we went out and I was unsure about when it was rainy and windy, a ton of trees were falling. And we had a bunch of trees fall and we had to have for us um, county roads to be specific to come out and help us out, chainsaw out, us out and use an excavator to get us out of there. Um, after that, PNW Overlanding started. We started with a rough 100 members, give or take, for a very long time. It was a great group of guys. They still are a great group of guys, but we have, ex we have exploded to at today 7.7 thousand which is phenomenal. And we have a lot of partnership deals that help out our members that give discounts. And you know, for me, I write blog posts that I post every Thursday on our website. And there's a lot going on, a lot of moving parts. One of our expedition leads, when we first started with about 100 members, uh, his name was Kyle. Uh, he was a very awesome, fun-loving, great guy that just enjoyed life to the fullest. 
unfortunately he did pass um, fairly quickly when we started the group there was a couple outings that we went um, but he had a freak accident and passed away uh, w without Kyle I don't think PNW Overland would have gained as much traction in the beginning parts because of how nice he was to people teaching as well and he I always say and I joke around is the uh, early version of spark is today with our expeditions and he has now taken basically the reins and leads a lot of our big group um, outings uh, I do some of them they're more smaller uh, they're not as big scale as he does um, he is the brains for our big events I'm kind of the back person that does the computer stuff <laughs> so first group we're gonna go and look through this I'm gonna go in random order so I'm not picking my favorite or not but we're just gonna go in random order so first item is first item is mule outfitters they gave a lot of cool items that's mule They got a couple hats from well-known brands out there as well. Couple t-shirts. And a couple of hoodies. For those that don't know Mule uh, Expedition Outfitters, they are in Issaquah, Washington. They have a fantastic group of individuals there for your installation needs, for re-gearing, putting lockers on your vehicles, and a bunch more. Uh, all great people I highly recommend going out there to just talk to them pick their brain if you have installation questions on anything and they have a lot of partners with some of the other partners that I'm gonna be also showing so a lot of vendors and companies that they do carry as well it's just great being able to have somebody on the phone if you need assistance if you get something from them to get service because they're real down-to-earth people and they're just fantastic item number two my medic these are your medic bags they are full with awesome goodies I'm gonna try not to take this all apart so it doesn't fall but as you can see got all your first aid needs we want a lot of people to win these raffles so we're not just gonna raffle and have somebody win both of them it's gonna be one and one I mean it's crazy it's got so many things in here that like I think this is all you need um, yeah, they have pretty much everything you can think of. For me, the tourniquet is the most important thing, I would think. But I like their bags. They're very high quality. Um, this feels like a rubberized, like waterproof. Very nice. Item number three. This one's huge. General Tires. They're giving, you can read this with me, this certificate entitles the bear to a complimentary set of four tires so four of your choice so i'm pretty sure everybody needs tires here and there and with inflation this this one's huge this one's going to be a big winner number four kick ass kick ass has given us a light torch it's also a power bank as well. Very nice. Item number five, Iron Man 4x4. 
If you haven't heard of them, you're living under a rock. This is their kinetic rope. Uh, let me open it for you. So, here's their kinetic rope that they're giving away. Very heavy duty, very nice. Those unfamiliar with Iron Man, they have an office in Oregon, close to Portland. It's great to go down and just check out the showcase. They do have some showcases that you can see like at Mule and uh, there's another one near, I believe it's Kent that carries Iron Man as well. Um, I usually go down to the Oregon store when I do go out and visit them because they have a great staff down there and I visit my brother. So it's killing two birds with one stone. Number six, more flat. They offer their tire inflator kit. Just hook that up to your compressor, you're ready to go. Item number seven, REI's camp table. You all heard of REI, I don't really need to say much, but they have offered this camp rollaway table for your camping needs for the PNW Overland Group. Number eight, Glue Tread Tire Repair Kit. These are awesome and fantastic for sidewall repair when you're out in the field. If you get stuck and slash your tire, at least you can get out. You'll be able to patch your tire and then fill up and get to the nearest main road so that way you can get assistance either being towed or getting a new tire. This allows you to get on the main road and get home. That's the biggest win. They are a fantastic family run company. Great people, great individuals. Highly recommend. I have this, I have this in my own personal kit. Number nine, Moose Knuckle. Those that are unfamiliar with Moose Knuckle, they have shackles that open up where you can put in your kinetic rope and close it instead of having to unhook the shackle itself, which you do lose a little bit of strength, but it's very minimal. And just the convenience of being able to just put it in, that's what she said is the honestly like these are fantastic i don't have a set um i've been talking with them but i do recommend this because you know you and me gotta be hand selective on what you spend your money on you know number 10 onyx off-road elite membership for one year it's one year it's a hundred dollar savings Eleven, ARB, portable compressor. I know a lot of you want to win this one. Number 12, if you've been following me, you know that I made some very funny videos with Blackbeard. This is their Blackbeard Firestarter kit. You get their Tinder with a case, the arc lighter and ferro rod. Only a baby wouldn't be able to light this or if you're famous on YouTube. Besides that, a child can start a fire with this thing. They are fantastic. They work in like the worst conditions. Um, I'll show you, I have their lighter. You just charge it, you can dump it in water, um, works and it's really cool. Growing up in Hawaii, this is the best. The absolute best. Okay, I don't know what number I am, so I'm just gonna keep putting the numbers on here, and then, yeah. <laughs> Light Time was nice enough to send one of their portable batteries, along with their 100 ah battery, like so. So, there's two chances to win that one. Josh, one of our admins, his favorite thing that he talks about all the time is when somebody brings up a fire extinguisher, which one to get? H3R Performance. The reason why he recommends this particular brand is because it's easy cleanup, no mess, if you were ever having to use something like this. 
the dry chemical allows for a very easy fast cleanup so it is a fantastic item to have these are pricey but they're worth it they also throwing one of these uh, tumblers as well you all are probably getting tired of me talking about rocky talkie but this is my favorite handheld radio and you have two in this this will be one raffle because obviously you have to be able to speak to each other now you can talk to one another when talking I have multiple um, these are great water resistance repeater capable 5 watt handheld the durability on these things these things are built strong Dale Fang is cheaper yes quality of build no if you are backpacking you want something like this because the battery lasts on their specs they say four to six days i've seen seven days plus okay so Baofeng, you need to work on your battery life ignix premium fire pit this allows you to cook food it has a grease trap inside set a fire as well these are awesome i have one i use it all the time especially when there is a fire ban going on. Eye camper, packing bag, and utility bag. Eye camper is a local brand in Washington. I go to their facility quite often. Uh, they are a great group of individuals. I get along with a lot of them. I have a 2.0 uh, Sky, I don't know the name. I have an eye camper 2.0 the big one and by far my favorite tent. I've had other tents and had issues with leaking, build quality, mold, you name it. This is the one tent that is spacious enough to fit me and my family along with the durability of being able to handle all the elements itself. There are about a couple things with the tent that I wish were a little bit different, but there's some hacks. When it's very windy, for instance, if you don't have the wind set up where the top of the, the roof is set, if the wind hits, you're fine. If you have it any other way, it's pretty loud. So you gotta kind of articulate the car where you want it to be. And then the other thing is the hinge where it opens up and it makes the ladder uh, that will keep going up in the middle of the night. So what I have done is there's these hook straps, put ratchet straps, don't make them too tight, and tie them to your tires. There'll be no noise all night. So very simple fixes that you can do. And that's the only complaints I've had. I don't have any water leaking in the view. They're very comfortable and they're very easy if you wanted to replace like the, the mattress or like a, a three inch air mattress on Amazon, which I'll link below. It makes it a world of a difference um, and all tents have condensation issues so you put a condensation mat on and then you're good to go the eye camper is my favorite tent by far it's a bit pricey but it's worth it if you're looking for a rooftop tent you don't need a rooftop tent to overland or camp you can sleep in your car you can m pitch a tent I do all forms of camping from backpacking using a single person tent that rolls up about this big to we have a big thing going on we need a big tent we have the coleman you know 10 person blackout instant setup tent that it takes like a minute to set up and then we also have the rooftop tent now if it's too cold and when i'm by myself and i'm driving sometimes i don't even pop the tent up and i just sleep inside the platform of my car so you don't need a rooftop tent but if you do check them out free spirit recreation has given a bunch of stuff this is their ready light mini solar light they also have given their anywhere mat and a multitude of kitchen items. There's about four things in there that people can win. Free Spirit Recreation, thank you for the multiple items for our raffle. Uh, I don't have the item with me, uh, but Redline Motors in the Tri-Cities is going to be also raffling off a Trasheroo bag for the event itself and we are also going to be giving a lot of sticker swag with pnw overlanding i have some that i can show you now some of the um companies that have sent stuff have sent swag items most most of them are stickers but some are hats and things like that so we'll have them on the table and those are free for all you can grab them if you want um and then we'll be giving the pnw overland stickers out as well we have different varieties um but this is one of them it is the pnw overland sticker if i can zoom in on it yeah 
So we're gonna have a bunch of stickers. Come say hi, introduce yourself to us. Uh, we wanna meet all of you guys and yeah. Now, I saved the best for last. This is an item that I think just got released. They're nowhere to be found. You can order them, but nobody has a hand on it yet. The Iceco APL35, the dual zone um, aluminum shell fridge. They're actually sent one so we can have one on display to show everybody so they can actually see it and see how lightweight and how great that item is. Uh, it might not be plugged in. It might be plugged in which we're trying to work on that, but we'll have one winner. So if you do win that item, you'll get the certificate that they provided for me. And what you're gonna do is if you get that certificate, come and see me personally so I can get your information. And then that way we can have Ice Cold mail you that fridge. The shipping is gonna be free, covered, so you don't have anything to worry about. It, it really is right here. It's kind of big and heavy, so it's hard to really show. Well, bam! Think I should open it? Think I should open it? Maybe I should open it. Let me open it so I can show you guys. Now, this is the first time I'm seeing it, so my reaction is gonna be the same as yours. So, first things first, we have their new cable for the uh, cigarette lighter. I don't even know why we call it a cigarette lighter plug still because no one really uses that smoke anymore. I don't even think they have that, you know. Regular power cord. Now if you're like me and you have like an EcoFlow battery, um, I do now have a new battery setup from Kickass, which I'll be testing out at the rally. Um, but if you have like an Eagle Flow, you can just plug both in and then you're good to go. Uh, one goes into the car, the other one, you know, obviously is for your battery. Wow. This thing's shiny. So here it is, folks. Your Ice Cold APL 35. I mean, the aluminum shell feels nice. It's got these very heavy duty hinges too. Like, very similar to like Ramoa, you know, they got the style, so like if you were ever to drop it, it I mean, it might get damaged and dented, but it's not gonna dent the case, it's gonna dent the side, which is nice. Um, I use a, Iceco 50, JP50. Um, I need a 50 liter. 50 liter is perfect for me when I go out for like four days to feed me and my family. And there's three of us, right? So we prep the food ahead of time in our kitchen. And then basically we have our meals all set up either in mason jars or plastic bags and things. So it, it eliminates space. And then at that time I can put in my Hawaiian sun or any other type of drink in the fridge. So it's perfect for that amount of space. I think a 35 will work for me, but I wouldn't be able to put my drinks in. So I won't really have cold drinks, which kind of blows. Um, but it, it, you know, you never know. You adapt, right, with whatever you have. I used to use a cooler from um, Yeti, and I loved it, but I hated the ice. So that's why I got the JP50 and 50 was like perfect for us if if i'm by myself the 35 works just because i don't need as much food as three people but the jp50 just works for me that's me everyone's different some people need more some people need less but for us that's kind of what we're at um you want to look it's kind of what it looks like 
on the inside. I'm not trying to s scratch my. I do like the fact that they have a drain plug in the bottom because in my JP50, I don't have anything like that. So if things did leak or drop in there, I have to clean it out. I can dump it after I'm done and wipe it down. At least this way I can just pull it and then the water will come out. So that's a big plus. I heard this thing is very quiet. I don't know. I don't know how quiet it is. It is a fantastic piece of equipment. And I'm glad that we got to talk to Iceco and manage this where we can actually show the item out to everybody and have somebody win it from PNW Overlanding. So I wish you all the best of luck of winning our raffle. And until next time,